Hi everyone, welcome to the restaurant show and we are gonna go light. We're gonna go a little bit light today with Amy. We are. Amy's here from Skillets and I tell you what, you have brought some really fun, colorful food here. I'm excited to eat. And I already see what she's making. I'm like, oh, I want to eat that right now. <laughs> yeah, I thought I would show you guys. Um, we added a couple new entrees okay. and that to our menu. I'm going to just slide that out Go there. ahead. Let's do it. We are now oh, serving please. fish tacos. Okay, and, and this is a grilled. Grilled, yes, we do not Amy's fry. Amy's trying to keep it light with us today because mm, I, I know we kind of go heavy, so I get so excited about her home cooking. So this is going to be a little bit light and really a different flavor profile it than is. what you normally do. Yeah, We do, uh, let's show, obviously. Let's show them what we did. Now what I you just, did here is you... I just thinly sliced some of the fish. Okay, so you took the one piece of fish and then she just did nice thin slices. She didn't put that whole piece on there. Um, we made a fresh salsa Are with tomatoes. Let's put yes. that over here. So. Tomatoes, peppers, onion, cilantro. Okay, Just so so a good old, um, like a pico de gallo and very fresh, really light. Not cooked though, right? No, not that's cooked. That's not cooked. Okay, right. so that's the difference is that's going to be a nice, it's, everything's raw and really good for you actually. And a little something else we do different. This is our Looks sauce. Good. We do a yogurt, poblano, and cilantro. Yogurt, poblano, and cilantro. So it's not spicy. Oh, it's got a little. It's got a little, little bit of tang kick to, to it. it. Okay, yeah. a little bit of tang, um, and oh, great! So that looks so good. And it's not sour cream, so right. it's going to be a lot better for you. It's going to be lighter in calories for you for sure. Yes, oh, that looks delicious. And um, we serve them as an appetizer. Okay, good deal. To oh, come for an appetizer, or we also serve it as an entree, and it comes with rice and so vegetables if you want to get as the, well. Which I know I've done. I've done that before. I've definitely gotten ta like two tacos. Sometimes three. <laughs> For my entree. Oh, that looks so good. And this is on a uh, corn tortilla, right? Corn you, tortilla, you do yes. Corn. I think corn makes a big difference. It does. And especially for those of you that are gluten-free, this is definitely can be a gluten-free because you're only, with the corn tortillas, you're only using the masa, which is corn flour. So this is fantastic. That looks so good. Okay, now what are we moving on to our next light item? Yeah, another new entree. We are doing um, a grilled Mahi with a Jamaican jerk okay, seasoning. Okay, so grilled mahi, which is a nice, it's not as flaky. It's a little bit more of a steak mm -hmm. kind of fish. If, if I said such a steak Sticker. fish. <laughs> we right. are now making risotto. Oh, do, I love risotto. I love so, the creaminess of it. Fantastic. Which, you know, obviously in TV land, this yes, would be hot and yeah. <laughs> creamy looking. And but, then, the, but it is a slow process and it does give you that nice creaminess. Oh, and that looks and great. And then we are doing a fresh Okay, before you put that on, let's show, let's show these guys. Let's show on the camera mm -hmm. what exactly is in there. I've got fresh pineapple. Okay. Mangoes. Oh, there's pineapple and mango. Yep. Very Red and yummy. green peppers. Okay. Red onion. Uh, cilantro, cilantro again. Cilantro, right, right. Mm -hmm. And It'll we save some of the juice out. from the pineapple to make yeah, a little absolutely. bit of a liquid oh, in it. that looks delicious. And then we just simply top that. And I love the nice chunks of mangoes and pineapples. Yes. And again, they're, they're, they're similar in size, so then that way every bite, you don't get one big chunk of this and something like that, but they're all very similar in size. Oh, look how colorful that is. Yeah. Gorgeous. And then, you know, of course, you got to have your little green around right. there, you too. sprinkle something here. Let's put that there. So that's another that, really good fresh option going into really, spring and summer. Really nice and light. I love that. And now, is this top a little bit spicy, or really it's on the sweet? Because you don't it's have a little on the, right. It's on the sweeter side. We didn't put any hot peppers. There's in there, not just hot the red peppers and green in it. Peppers and that so, you can find. So, would you suggest someone who is making this at home? Let's say, not necessarily the mahi, because mahi mm -hmm. isn't really always something that's like, oh yeah, let's whip up risotto and mahi at home. But these are nice little toppings that you've created that are really easy to do at home. Yes. Maybe you're putting on your salmon or your tilapia, right? Or um, even chicken. They can go with, yeah, oh, definitely. They can go with any of those. Yeah. So it's really just buying some of those items and um, really chopping, just and chopping them up, same size, yep. and just getting a nice sauce on top of one of your main proteins. Good. All right. Okay, so we got one more. One more. We oh are going gosh, to. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. It's light, but it's not light know, at the same see. time. Because <laughs> I'm already excited about what I see. Because we love on our grits. <laughs> We are now doing um, a cheddar cheese grit. Okay. So all Delicious. I did was take make our grits and yeah. add cheddar cheese to it. Delicious. And that's, like, you know. it's funny, but it sounds so like, oh my gosh, you gotta make grits and doctor them all up and everything. But really, this is just simple as your spices and a little bit of different cheeses yes. that you can add to it. Mm -hmm. Now this looks heavenly. Oh, we too. give up. <laughs> our, Forget the light items now. Let's there go, we go. For now it. we're going something <laughs> a little bit heavier yeah. now. Um, wrapped shrimp. Love it. In bacon. Love it. And we make our own barbecue sauce. Love so it. we are going to serve a barbecued. So it's a 
barbecue barbecued shrimp wrapped bacon. Oh my gosh, that is heavenly. Um, Look at that. And because, ooh, taste that barbecue sauce because we make our own barbecue sauce. Yeah, she's giving me a run for my money on that one. That ah! is good. <laughs> that is good. And of course, you know, you can never have enough cheddar cheese. That is really good. I love it. And that is another dish that we are that serving now. That is fantastic. I mean, let's put that up mm -hmm. here so we can see. So, tail on, um, it's already, yes. but obviously it's already peeled underneath. Yes. And then you wrap the, tell us how you do that. Wrap the bacon. Just take the bacon and wrap it right around. And then now I grilled these shrimp. You could okay. also bake them if you wanted to and didn't feel like turning the grill yes. on for a few minutes. Yes, absolutely. That. But I grilled them and the bacon comes out a little bit crunchy. Not You don't want to bake them too long because then the bacon will be too crunchy and your shrimp will be overcooked. Right, okay. Um, couple minutes. So it's going to have a little bit of a bite to it. It's going to yes. have a little pull to it, but you don't, you don't want crisp bacon because then you'll overcook the, the shrimp. shrimp. Okay, gotcha. Yes. Yeah, it's very timing is everything, yes. right? <laughs> and then, uh, and I like to leave the tails on so you can pick them up. Of course, and eat them yeah, absolutely. And then, like I said, we just did our cheddar cheese grits. Now I use cheddar cheese. You could use a uh, well, smoked gouda would oh, go yeah, really good with it too, with the, with the barbecue, barbecue sauce as well. Okay, now we already know what the special is going to be tomorrow. That <laughs> like, wait a second, that smoked gouda would be great, or pepper jack cheese. Yeah, yeah, lots of different things yeah. you can do with grits. And I know, you know, being in the south, you guys. And if you haven't tried grits, you have to go see Amy <laughs> and try this. I mean, it is. This looks fantastic. I can't wait to dig in and of course the um we've got the shrimp i mean sorry the fish tacos mm -hmm. and then we have the beautiful uh, jerk mahi mahi with a pineapple and mango uh salsa so fantastic so please come visit their staff outside seating is perfect now right now yes bring your dogs we're still have perfect our dog menu the as well that's right they have the dog menu so keep it in mind and um do i need reservations especially this time of year it's good to make them for dinner especially during the daytime it's so much seating that was kind of hit or miss. Absolutely. On that, but so we're open now from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Okay, every so day. breakfast, lunch, dinner, you name it, they've got it. So uh, just remember Caligny Plaza right there at the south end of Hilton Head Island. Thank Thanks, you. Amy. You're welcome. We'll be back in just a minute.